Welcome to Clonakilty Distillery. I'm Ewan, I'm the supervisor of the tours here at the distillery and beside me... And I'm Paul, I'm the head distiller, head blender here for Clonakilty. So today we are talking about a collaboration between Clonakilty Distillery and 26 Degree Brewing Company. They are based in Pompano Beach in Florida and they take inspiration from the Atlantic Ocean like ourselves here in Clonakilty and they're crafting beer to celebrate their home in Florida. So the beer we've used for this collab is called the IPA 1A. And all I know about this IPA is that it's named after the highway that runs the length of Florida on its east coast with the Atlantic Ocean. So Paul, what do you know about the IPA? So what struck me about this IPA was really how balanced it was. There's a tendency these days to uh, hops, hops, hops and more hops. Uh, here the brewers may started with a real um, sweet malty backbone and then added the hops to uh, accentuate that, to create a really balanced beer. Cool. So the collaboration, we only have 750 bottles of this one. Uh, we kept 185 bottles behind in Ireland and it's bottled at 46% ABV. Why 46? So when I'm going to blend a whiskey, I don't start off with any ABV in mind. I'll take the whiskey out of the cask. Uh, here it was about 58.5%. Then I'll do a series of dilutions and I will pick the dilution that I think has the best balance of flavours. So here at 46, the sweetness from the malty backbone of the beer was still really coming through with just a slight hint of the hops. And how long was the whiskey in the IPA 1A barrel? Uh, this was just over three weeks. You wow. don't, yeah, you don't want to keep an IPA in a, a whiskey in an IPA cask for too long because the flavours from the hops can be really intense and you don't want it coming through too much into the whiskey. Uh, at the end of the day, you want a whiskey where the hops um, complement it but not overpower the flavour. So let's have a nose and a taste. So coming through for me straight away is a satsuma, sweet orange, mandarin aroma. Mm -hmm. yep. But there's also a lot of vanilla and sweetness, like a creme brulee coming through too. So uh, what it really reminds me of is a, a super split from when I was young. So an orange uh, vanilla ice cream flavor. Yeah, an ice cream on a stick. Uh, yeah, that, that, that sums it up really well. Those, those kind of creamy, citrusy type flavours. Yeah, cool. Mm. And on the taste? Well, on the palate, it's actually quite complex. There's a lot more dark chocolate and sweetness coming through from that um, malt backbone. The hops are there in the background giving that slight orange flavour. And there's also a spice of candy ginger in there too. Yeah, cool. This is lovely. And what, what are you getting on the finish? Like the finish is still going here after that last yeah. sip. Um, there's a lot of sweetness, like an orange drizzle cake with uh, cacao nibs. Again, that vanilla really lingering. Yeah, lovely whiskey folks. A really interesting collaboration with the guys at 26 Degree Brewing in Florida. This whiskey will be available hopefully at the start of November uh, for yourselves to buy. Keep an eye on our social media and sign up for our mailing list at clonakiltydistillery.ie. Shlanta. Shlanta.